Kathy Benz. Oh my goodness, girl! Wow! Hey, Julie! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You don't look like the same girl. Julie! I know. I know. You, you are not the same person that we just saw I on know, Rainbow. I'm You're very blonde over there. Yeah. Did you like being blonde? I am actually naturally blonde. Yeah. Uh, yeah, to the point where uh, I went brunette for a movie. And all my friends actually say I'm still blonde because I still do like blonde movements. You know? oh, really? yeah. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really match with the brown hair anymore. So it's funny. That's did you really have more fun being blonde, or you have more fun being brunette? Um, I love being brunette. Yeah. I mean, it makes me feel very sleek and sophisticated, and I really love it. You did it on purpose, not for a film. I did it for a film. Oh. Yes, I did it for the Punisher Two War Zone. Yeah. Okay. So we had Sylvester on here just a little while ago, yes. a few days ago, and he was so nice. But I know you were nervous when you first started working with him, right? Right. I mean. First of all, I mean, he's a film icon. Yeah. And uh, to start opposite him was just overwhelming. And it was to the point where uh, he, you saw how nice he is. And he, he's he very nice. Very nice. Very and he's nice. very jovial. And he knows that you're very nervous. And he introduces himself as Sly. And I went through this whole thing where I didn't know what to call him. Mm -hmm. And I was always taught to call people, you know, mis you know Mr. or Mrs. if you really respect so them. So did you call him Mr. Stallone? I called him Mr. Stallone. And he didn't like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And he kept saying, call me Sly. And I couldn't seem to say Sly without giggling. <laughs> so uh -huh. I, I went through this whole phase where I just was like, hey, you. <laughs> you know, and are you I, better now? Like, if you were to see him now, is are you more relaxed? Oh yeah. I mean, I think after three months in the jungle with someone, yeah. you're very comfortable. You, you get cozy. How did you, you get, get the comfy. job? Did you have to audition with him, or how did you get the job? Um, actually, he was a fan of Dexter. Oh, and show that oh Dexter yes. is a Dexter, show you're yeah. on Showtime. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you play? I play Rita. Rita, who is the girlfriend, girlfriend of a serial, serial killer. killer. Yeah. He's a serial killer, but he's he's a good serial killer. <laughs> yes. Um, I always nice say, personality. Yeah. Yeah. He's a yeah. likable he serial well. killer. <laughs> he's a serial killer with a heart of gold. Yeah. You know? And so that's how you got the job? He, he's, he, liked De he liked Dexter? Yeah, and they called and asked if I'd take a meeting with him, and I said, of course. Yeah. Yeah. What an honor. I know. You came to this in a sort of roundabout way, right? You were a figure skater first. Yes. Is that right? Yes. I started like, the age ranked of number three. 13 in the country. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. And then you got, in, you got <laughs> injured, right? Is that okay? Yeah, I suffered a bad injury when I was about 13 years old, and yeah. I started acting at that time. And uh, I went back to skating and uh, reached the age of 16 and decided to. Um, to go into acting professionally because I thought rather than choose a career where you washed up at 18 as a figure skater, I would choose a career where I would be washed up at 40. Oh, wow, dang. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you know, I... <laughs> washed up at 40? Not anymore, though. Not anymore. At that Honey. time, at Honey. that time. Girl, if you think you washed up at 40, you in for a big surprise. So do you still oh. skate? <laughs> Are you still skating? I'll help you. <laughs> no, um, you know, I do it for fun, occasionally. You Are you one of those serious skaters on the ice? Am that, I? <laughs> like when everybody else is like falling all over the place, you're all like doing a triple lutz or whatever they're called. And the triple sow cow. Triple sow cow? I used to do those. Oh, um, I'm, cool. I can't do them anymore. <laughs> what, you know what I noticed, Julie, when I was watching Rambo? It was really, really violent. How did you yeah. do with, you know, running through all the jungles and the violence? How were you with that? Um, it was, I mean, it was very scary. And uh, they came to me and asked me if I would, you know, try to do my own stunts. And they had a great stunt double, but I said I would try anything once. And I mean, I just remember one day on set, uh, they came and they said they were gelling me down with that fire retardant gel. And they said, okay, now you're going to run and the building's going to explode and there's going to be a ball of fire and just keep running. And we have two stunt guys dressed as firemen with hoses, and they'll be there in case you catch on fire. What? Yeah, and I went, I kind of went back, and I um, was hiding behind a tree, and I started to cry. <laughs> and I was really scared, and they yelled action, and you know, you just do it. And you wow. skating was dangerous. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is much worse. I know, yeah. I always I mean, thought that actors were protected from all of that, but it sort of is a little dangerous, isn't it? It is. You know, um, Sly said in the very beginning, he said it makes for a richer film if it's your face hitting the dirt, you know? Yeah, you know what, let his face <laughs> hit the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> if I were your mother, I would say, you hit the dirt, Sly. Uh, you know, I love the challenge of it, <laughs> and having been an athlete, it was, um, you know, I just felt it was very important for yeah. me to, you know, man up a bit and you. really try. Like Girl, it. well, Julie, thank you so much for coming, and we wish you the best with your career, because you're going to be washed up in about 20 years, <laughs> girl. <laughs> and our Rambo opens in theaters everywhere oh, Friday, gosh. January 25th. We'll be right back.